Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Ruby. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I can't seem to find any junior or mid-level Ruby on Rails position in my region. It seems that all the startups are looking for senior level developers. I thought the supply of Ruby on Rails engineers was less than the demand. What are some good resources to find junior roles? Well, the job postings would probably be a good start. Have you checked the job postings? Because if you haven't checked the job postings, uh, this would explain your predicament. And if you have, have you actually looked at them thoroughly enough until you started suspecting that the supply demand factor was a thing? Or have you done the thing that quite literally half the internet or maybe the entire internet uh, that is desiring to become a software developer does and that is to go on a forum and talk to someone who doesn't know shit about your region who states that oh go is the best thing ever there's so many jobs or haskell you know what that is the best language there is and you're going to be such a great developer if you know that stuff and you're going to make the highest salaries what they don't tell you is that that is true very much dependent on depending on where like the the nuances who you are, where you work, uh, a, lot, a few other factors. We don't really like to talk about that stuff when we talk about stuff that is close to our hearts, because usually these sorts of things are coming from people who care about or the, the language, or they have a vested interest in the language that they recommend. They're usually not speaking from a pragmatic, soulless, professional's perspective. They're talking uh, from the perspective of an evangelist or a fanboy or something like that. And uh, so if you have taken the time to learn Ruby on Rails and there are no jobs in your region, I will just need to ask you, how did you go about figuring out that Rails was the thing for you? Because my guess is that you either started because it seemed like you got an intro from a friend or something like that and everybody has to start somewhere so I don't think that you've made a mistake you definitely didn't make a mistake I'm just saying that if your expectations were that oh there's a lot of jobs for, for uh, Ruby on Rails developers uh, that might have been completely incorrect you don't know because you didn't check and if you didn't check how would you know how, why were you surprised because I can tell you right now that it's probably not going to come as a much of a, much of a surprise if you spend even the slightest amount of time looking at the job posting. Now, I don't think that everything you do should be related to that thing. I'm saying just saying that the uh, uh, just learning a language is not enough to guarantee that you're going to get a position somewhere. You need to think a little bit about, all right, if I start learning programming, that's a very good thing, but I might not be able to use that specific first language that I'm learning in exactly like exactly where I work. That's why you need to check it out. So that is the best resource. The, that is the gold standard of all resources that you can possibly find. Everything else is secondary. Nothing is better than going to the job posting and having a look. What are people hiring? Okay, so if I search of if I search for Ruby on Rails on the job postings in my region, what are the results? And then read through, because as you said, you probably realize that all the startups they're looking for senior level, because most companies are, practically everybody is. And now the you, uh, your situation is like basically you need you can do one or two things, either you stick to Ruby on Rails and because you have some emotional attachment to it or something like that or you just for whatever reason don't feel like there's it's feasible for you to learn another language and try to find a like wait like try to apply to companies where because that is another resource that you can use where you can simply talk to companies that are uh, very because the thing is just because somebody say is saying on a job posting that well we're just looking for a senior that doesn't mean that they won't be looking for juniors in the future so you can ju because if they're publicly saying that we're looking for seniors you can still reach out that's something you can do you can go on the job hunt in that sense and just contact companies that are looking for rails developers and see if you can start a dialogue 
that is also a very feasible thing you can do. And in some cases, you might actually find that, you know what, they actually did have a position for a junior developer here. It's just that they didn't take the time or they didn't have the time or whatever. They didn't make it a, a public thing. So you can reach out and just see. And this is the way that you can, I, I would say that this is your only option apart from doing the cynical, cold-hearted, cold-hearted, bitter, professional move. And that is to look at all right, where are the junior positions at? And what are they asking for? Instead of having the perspective, oh, I learned Rails, I'm gonna find a junior position for Rails, you take the position, I'm a junior developer, I don't know shit about programming, but I really wanna get into this industry and I'm willing to learn what is necessary to do that. And this is just by the by, long term, that is probably one of the best moves you can make because it's not always feasible for you to just go with your heart's desire and say, I'm gonna learn this thing and I'm just gonna work in that thing because supply and demand is always a factor when you want to be paid as a software developer. So what I want you to take away from this is that I think that the best resources for you to find junior positions, regardless of if it's for Rails or for whatever thing you're using, is the job postings. Go and look at the job postings. If you're investing in technology or educating yourself in something for the purpose of getting a job, you need to understand if that is, if you're selling, like if you've learned a tool and you're selling skills in that tool, if nobody buy is buying the thing you're selling, it's going to be tough for you. And in that scenario, your only option is usually to go to another region or look at like a broader thing or move around or maybe reach out to the companies who are publicly saying that they are in some way communicating that they are interested in Rails developers or whatever language or framework you're using uh, and try to start a dialogue. See if uh, th there might be an all opening or maybe not now, maybe later, like just start a dialogue with them. That is the best thing you can do. And the other thing is that you take the the pragmatist's um, mindset to heart and go, all right, I'm a junior developer. It's more important for me to get my foot in the door into this industry than it is to work in specifically Ruby or Rails. So I'm just going to look at the, what the companies that I can get a job at, what they're using, and then I'm going to invest in that instead. Because the thing is, guys, even if you do love Ruby or Rails or whatever above all else, well, you can get to be a senior in another way. You can go and start doing something else, get your foot in the door and learn how the industry works and then switch to Ruby uh, once you have those uh, core skills in place. Because even though you may not be a senior in Ruby at that time, you can do that as a hobby thing and do something else as a professional and then switch over when the opportunity presents itself. And uh, trust me when I say this, there are many uh, Go fanatic or Haskell fanatics or whatever who has the same sort of setup. They might be because of their region forced to work in something like Java or C Sharp or so forth, but their heart's desire is really to work in Go. And so they do that in their spare time and when the opportunity presents itself, they might actually switch. Think about it. I mean, I'm doing similar sorts of things as well and a lot of people that I know do the same thing. It's not an uncommon thing. Have a great day.